step-by-step -step instructions. You will get A4 sheets of paper 100 and they'll be printed on both sides. Um, you will also get some scissors and stapler to complete the work. Please return all the equipment once you've completed. There will be a stapler, there will be a pair of scissors and some spare staples and some elastic bands thrown in. Now for preparation wash your hands and clean the table that you're going to be working from. Step 1 Get a sheet of paper and fold it in half, making sure that you put a firm crease in the paper and the edges meet up precisely. Also make sure that page 1 is facing you, mm -hmm. so that page 1 is not inside the paper mm -hmm. but on the outside. You will see small numbers on the bottom of each page um, and it's numbered pages 1 to 16. So page 1 uh, will be the one that you would have to watch out for. Page 1 would always be facing you and not inside. So enjoy making the coupon pass. You are a valuable member of the team. Um, you may see a new advert, so don't go by the advert, go by the number. So there will be a new advert on the coupons when you receive them. So when you go and do your second fold, make sure that the one, number one, stays on the outside. So to fold um, the paper again, make sure Again, you have edge to edge, and make sure you have a precise crease in the paper. Please use both hands to grip the paper and to hold the paper firm. Now, the third fold is very important. Um, you fold it, but you don't do edge to edge. You leave about one millimeter or two millimeter gap at the top and the reason is um, that some of the pages do, do not need cutting um, so the top of page one would not need cutting so you fold it slightly below the rest of it um, I will give you a demonstration so you would know exactly what I mean this will save on the paper. I want to use as little um, waste as possible. So um, use, the, use the A4 paper to the maximum. So you fold in the, the last fold, the third and final fo fold, um, with a slight difference. As you can see, that uh, page one is slightly lower than the rest of them. Page one and the few other pages. So half half of the pages will be um, already trimmed there and so you'd only need to cut the the un, the uh, the pages that need trimming on the top the bottom will need trimming right across but uh, um, make sure you get this right now to put the staple in make sure the staple is right up to the edge um, Again, we want uh, the the customer to read the coupons once they open it, so that uh, they can they can read uh, all the messages. So the staple is not in, in getting in the way. Um, because the printing is very tight um, on the inside, all over the coupon. So get it as close as possible to the edge 
and uh, you will see we just need to leave about one millimeter or two millimeters from the edge and that is exactly where the, the staples should be now trimming please trim the bottom of the coupon first cut in very carefully and hold in the paper, gripping the paper while you cut now for the top um, as you can see we've uh, we've left a, a, a space there so only cut the paper that needs to be cut and you don't need to cut page one and the other pages therefore you have very little waste um, and the coupon is made with very little waste thrown away as you can see it's just a, a few trimmings please have all the coupons facing the right way facing one way and put an elastic band around each pile of 25 um, please put all the coupons into a small box and if you can um, keep it all nice and dry along with your equipment because um, they will have to be collected as well um, you can now call or text and you will get paid for your hard work job completed thank you for watching